Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Praise the Lord, viewers again. Uh, my name is Pastor Patrick Kiprop, and it's my pleasure to bring us the Word of God again this morning during our morning encounter series. Uh, as we began yesterday, we had talked about uh, two kinds of wisdom, the heavenly wisdom and the earthly wisdom that we found uh, from the book of James chapter 3 from verses 13 to verses 18. And James was comparing two kinds of wisdom. And James says in that particular place that the wisdom that comes from above is pure. And there is a wisdom that is of the world which is impure, which corrupts, which seeks its own gain uh, and does not seek that which glorifies God. And yesterday again, we had left at the point whereby we uh, tied on the book of Matthew chapter 25 from verses 1 to 13. Uh, and that is the story about the ten uh, virgins. The among the, uh, in the story of the ten virgins, five of them were wise and five of them were foolish. Today, I want us to look at um, the wise virgins. Yeah, in the story of the ten virgins, the Bible says that um, uh, the, the, the kingdom of heaven is likened unto uh, virgins uh, who actually prepared to go and meet the bridegroom. And as they were waiting for the bridegroom to appear, uh, five of them, uh, you know, all of them uh, waited for a long time. And the Bible says uh, the bridegroom was long in coming and, and, and the, the five uh, and all of them began to sleep. And as they were waiting for the uh, bridegroom, there was a difference in these uh, uh, virgins. The wise uh, virgins, the Bible says, they took with them uh, 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 extra oil while the foolish ones did not take with them extra oil because they thought probably that the bridegroom will just appear immediately. Now, because of time, we will not read the whole story, but I will ask you to read through all that story. But in this time, we're going to look at different nuggets of what we get from the story of the wise and the foolish virgins. The first thing which we find in the story of the uh, of the ten virgins is that that all the ten virgins had a common goal but had different preparations. They all of them wanted to come and meet with the bridegroom. However, five of them were foolish. They did not do uh, did not make enough preparations as they were waiting for the bridegroom. Now. The aspect of preparation in life is an art or is an act of wisdom. If you do not prepare well, then you may not achieve the goals you want. As much as all of them had the same goals, they had goals in their lives. They wanted to meet the bridegroom, but their preparations were different. I pray that today that your preparation will be quite adequate to an extent you will be able to actually meet the king or achieve your goals in life. I want to encourage you today that five of them did not make, uh, uh, five of them made uh, sufficient preparations uh, for them to achieve their goals. As much as you have a goal in life, I want to encourage you to make necessary preparation so that you may be able to achieve your goal. A key thing in wisdom is that as much as we all have goals, we have to make necessary preparations. A goal without preparations or a dream without preparations at the end of the day will lead to frustration. We need to prepare ourselves. We need to set goals and prepare adequately just like the wise, uh, the wise virgins. They were prepared. They all had a goal. They wanted to meet the bridegroom, but they knew that we've got to prepare adequately. 
I, but the rest uh, of the virgins whom we are contrasting with who are not wise, the Bible says, as much as they are the goal to meet the bridegroom, they did not make sufficient preparation for them to meet the, with the bridegroom. That also is true with our heavenly vision. As much as all of us wait on the coming of Christ, as we know that this story was actually about the coming of Christ, we've got to be well prepared. We've got to be ready for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you today that whatsoever goal you have today in this life, I pray that may you have sufficient grace to prepare well and for you to achieve. But above all, we've got to make an heavenly vision, an heavenly goal. That is to be ready when Christ comes again the second time. It is my prayer that may you not only wait, may you not only have a goal, but rather may you have necessary preparations. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I want to pray that as we wait, as we wait on you, Lord, as we wait for your second uh, coming, may we be like the wise uh, virgins who took necessary preparation, Lord, who took necessary precautions, Lord, knowing that, Lord, that as much as we are waiting on you, as much as we, they had a goal of meeting with the bridegroom, they knew they had the responsibility of preparing themselves even for the goal. May you bless us, Lord. We've got so many goals. I pray for my viewer. They have, could be having this or the other goal. I pray that, Father God, you will give them the wisdom to prepare well, even for them to achieve the goals they have in their lives. Bless us, Lord, for we ask you this in Jesus' name. Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidham Eldoret TV. Our Facebook page is Sidham Eldoret. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidham Eldoret. And our website is eldoret.sidham.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.